welcome to the selection show of the 2009 D3Football.com All-American Team. Kate with the handoff, around to the outside, he's got the first down and more. Midfield, high step and pushed out of bounds, inside Delaware Valley 40 at the 36. Andrew Kate on third and two, picks up the truckload. From the one-yard line, it's Wartman leaping over the pile into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. Pass complete to B-Song. He's got five and then some. He's trying to get to the sideline. He does. 40, 30, down the sideline with a blocker, all the way to the house. No flags down. Touchdown, President. Looks over the defense. Takes the snap. Looks downfield. He's going to run out from pressure. Now throw it into the end zone. Renardo is there. Touchdown, Chattal! Bernard Ellis snuck behind the defense and Schaefer finds him and 6-0 MC leads at 11.22 to go. Gentlemen back to pass. Jeff's got time. He throws it up going down long. Brandis, touchdown Adam Brandis. 33 yards out for Adam Brandis on a beautiful rainbow by Jeff Donovan and the Hawks go up 30-7. Spot under center, Coors to the near left, Mulligan to the far right, they fake this one to Karazia, pressure coming, looks deep, in, looks deep down the left side for Coors, he makes the cut to the 30, 25-20, he's off to the races, 10-5, touchdown Alex Coors, Alex Coors again with the mismatch, he was quiet all first quarter, but he has been so explosive here in quarter number two. Sixth play of the Monmouth Drive, ball in the middle of the field, 28-yard line. Tanny stepping up, yep. throwing down the right sideline, wide open. Steve Zeno catching it at the four-yard line, and he prances into the end zone for the touchdown. Zeno catches Tanny's second touchdown pass of the day. Rocco out of the shotgun, going to drop the throw. He is looking downfield. He's going to throw it for Short. Short has it at the five, and it's a Mount Union touchdown. From 34 yards out on the third and 23, and it's 27 nothing. Well, Marietta blitz that time. Mount Union's offensive line picked it up. Nice job, Scott Panchik as well, picking up the blitzing middle linebacker. And it gave Kurt Rocco the time to stand in the pocket and find Cecil Shorts coming deep across the middle. 27-24, all right down by three. Is the running back, Kelly from the shotgun. Rolling left, throwing for Romy, in the end zone, touchdown! Nate Romy, wide open! A 13-yard touchdown with 34 seconds to play. A great throw by Tanner Kelly. Jeff takes the snap, hands off Copy. She's got Romy's at the five. Lavelle Copy in for the touchdown. We're in Coppage country as Lavelle Coppage picks up the touchdown, his 29th of the season. And Tom, that was a very impressive drive to start the second half as the Hawks went 71 yards. Third down and 30. Whalen in his own end zone wants to get rid of it. Wings it deep downfield for Kaldrick running under it. And he makes the catch at the 50, at the 40. On his way to the end zone. 10, 5, and it's a touchdown. 94 yards. Unbelievable. E3Football.com's 2009 All-American Team announcement. And uh, we are preparing right now to give you the first list, and that will be honorable mentions. And we're going to start with the offense of, uh, for the honorable mentions. And on your screen again, follow along with us as we do this. On offense in the honorable mentions for the D3Football.com All-American Team. We'll start with quarterback Jeff Donovan, the senior from University of Wisconsin, Whitewater. Running back will be Dave Pavlitz, senior from Susquehanna, and also Deron Brown, senior from MIT. Two wide receivers, Pat Noon, sophomore from Bowdoin, and also Earl Peoples, Jr. from Randolph-Macon. Those are your wide receivers on honorable mention. Tight end, Sean McAndrew, Jr. from Wesley. Let's go to the big uglies, as they call them, the mm -hmm. offensive line. Your tackles will be Zach Duvall, senior from Plymouth State, and Mike Long, Jr., Jr., or excuse me, Mike Long, Jr., from Delaware Valley. I'll get used to this. Your guards, Tony Opperman, sophomore from Case Western Reserve, and also Anthony Walsh, senior from Mount St. Joseph. Center, Garth Coates, senior from University of Wisconsin, Whitewater. Again, that was... Your honorable mention offense on defense will start with your defensive ends. Frank Waymiller 
freshman from Coe, and also Will Roggenbach, junior from Hampton, Sydney. Defensive tackles, Ben Tomano, senior from Hartwick, and also Laron Boykin, senior from North Carolina Wesleyan. Your linebackers are Kyle Chuning, senior from Maryville, Tennessee, Andy uh, Episcopo, senior from St. John Fisher, and Andrew Sellers, senior from Hampton, Sydney. Go to the secondary. Your cornerbacks are Kendall Wade, senior from University of Wisconsin Stout, and Corey Stewart, senior from Hanover. Your safeties are Jerron Davis, senior from Concordia, Illinois. Excuse me, that's Jaron Davis, and Drew Fisher, sophomore from Linfield. Your specialists include Tony Smidel, senior from Wisconsin Platteville, punter Chris Stengel, junior from Westfield State. And returner, Wes Chambly, junior from Wabash. Well, Ryan Tips. You right. know what? He's not only just a junior, a junior from my alma mater, he actually is from my hometown as well. Come, so, I'll uh, come back out here and uh, let you talk a little bit about him. So um, I, I've, I've, of course, been able to see him. I go up uh, back to Wabash every year for the Monon Bell game. And um, he's, he's really, you know, not only as, as a returner, but also as a wide receiver, he's, he's really just kind of a, he's a very dynamic athlete kind of all across the board. And, and he's, he's a lot of fun to watch. He has a lot of speed and is able to put up uh, some really good return numbers. Um, but I was also looking at the, the rest of that list and um, being a mid-Atlantic guy myself, is, is, it was a list that was very heavy on uh, mid-Atlantic players. Putting it back up there for a second on top of us there. Uh, call out some names that you... Uh, well, you, the, the, you the, the first one that really kind of jumped out at me is Earl Peoples from Randolph-Macon. Um, I think it was the first week of October after the uh, Washington and Lee game. Randolph-Macon put up 295 passing yards in that game. 295 of those belong to Earl Peoples. Well, that's a that's a pretty uh, interesting uh, situation. A hundred percent of of the yards was his, and he he caught about 20 passes during that game. So he was pretty busy in that game. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's you know that's kind of a, a you know a, a nice little you know tell for for what kind of player he is. That's a really good defining moment. But also on defense, I saw there are two Hampton Sydney guys there. And let's go back to it real quick here again. And so, something that we've you know. Over the past two or three years, Hampton City has been a real strong offensive team. And last year, they started to develop a, a much better kind of defensive scheme, um, you know, just, just really kind of toughening up and, and shutting down a lot of teams that they weren't able to shut down in, pre, in previous years. And this year, you know, they really took it to, to the next level. And so Will Riggenbach and um, uh, Andrew Sellers. Uh, Andrew Sellers is actually from Roanoke, a, a local kid. Um, and both of those, they, both those players were just really key in, in you know Hampton City, going 10 and 0 in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. Um, first time I believe that's ever happened in school history, and um, at least uh, uh, you know fighting strong in the in the playoff. In the 